Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls and this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week beginning May 25th, 2015. This week I'm going to be using the Magdalene Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno and of course I will be pulling a color card from the Secret Language of Color Cards by Anna Seagal like we do every week and someone actually um, left a comment and asked if I would start incorporating the color cards into the monthlies and I think that that's a great idea. I have already recorded the July ones. Those are set for release a little bit later because people don't really like it when I put things up early I think <laughs> which I totally get because then you get all like confused about what videos up next and all that so I totally get it that's scheduled for later but beginning probably with the August videos if I remember I will start incorporating the color card as well for the monthlies so if you would like a personal reading with me go to my website angelsouls444.com go to the services page and you can just follow the instructions there I am getting caught up I'm getting caught up. I might even, I don't know when, but I might be able to lower that wait time to 10 days pretty soon. And if you've been thinking about getting a reading, jump in and do it then, <laughs> okay, before the, the wait time goes up again. And of course, if you would like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that info down below. Would you like us to get to the reading now? That was a really long intro. Let's get into it. Here are the cards. Okay. So let's just all take a breath and relax a little bit and focus on the week of May 25th. Well, I'm going to start right off by saying I was guided to this Oracle deck and whenever I feel like I need to use this deck, it's because there's some deeper wisdom about to come through. So we'll see. First card up is Divine Order. That's pretty wise. <laughs> I would say that's pretty wise. Decision. Ooh, there's a full moon in this card, or I perceive it as a, a full moon. And you can see that the culmination is um, like, it's almost like dripping. <laughs> it's like over full. So something is overdone in your world and it's going to start flowing away. But we'll talk about that a little bit more. But whatever it is, it's all in divine order. So let it slip away if it has to. <laughs> Purgatory. Oh boy. Okay. And Sophia. Wisdom. And also whenever this card comes out, it just depends. I mean, Sophia is, you know, wisdom. But uh, sometimes when this particular card comes out in the context of a story, because of the colors, it just makes me think of transformation. So maybe transformation through wisdom, but the violet flame meditation, cleanse away all that no longer serves you, that always comes up with this card as well. Okay, so let me just tune in here. My head's going to be down for a second. Just <laughs> bear with me. Okay, there's going to be some rough waters this week. It's nothing you can't handle unless you are somebody who really loves just bobbing along the surface of life and then everything gets to you. This is telling you not to do that anymore. <laughs> um, but there is going to be a little bit kind of going on where you're having to face things that maybe you don't want to. These are hard truths. These are things that, you know, this could be like a friendship if we're talking about um, surface level examples. It could be a friendship where you go, you know what? I can't have you in my life anymore. I'm tired of this. <laughs> I'm tired of this being a one-sided friendship. You could be doing that with a love partnership. So there, there's one level of turmoil for some people. And yet for others, there could be something that is actually good coming out of a situation, but it might embarrass you. So this might be like, I don't know, I have a crush on you and <laughs> someone finds out and you're like, oh, I didn't mean for you to find out that way. But there's a, a bit of relief behind it or, um, you know, maybe you were thinking about leaving the company and you kind of got a new role all set up for yourself and you were really stressing about how you were going to let your boss know. And then you get called into their office and they're like, we're so sorry, but we're downsizing and we have to let you go. And we're going to give you a nice severance package. And you're like, I'll try to get over it, <laughs> you know, like, which is what you wanted the whole time. But it's topsy turvy. Expect the unexpected roll with it okay do not let yourself get upset if things are not going 
according to plan. This is the week, if you are one of those people that has to plan everything, I'm one of those people. It's gonna be a big lesson for us to just chill out. It's all happening in divine order. Okay, now there's a, another layer of message going on here. So let me finish this up. Whatever occurs for you this week, flow with it. And remember, Mercury's in retrograde, so you don't wanna be making huge decisions <laughs> if you can avoid it. Now this isn't a decision on the surface, okay? Now you, you pick up from this reading whatever is good for you, all right? But my interpretation of the combo of these cards is that you have to make an internal decision. So it's not like to decide to buy that house or not buy that house because it's all in divine order. This is more about I can't hang on to these emotions anymore. The moon represents emotions, the divine feminine. Uh, and this is, at least I think, it's like a full moon kind of dripping and breaking open. It's the floodgates. So what have you got in your world that's about to flood? You have to make a decision when this happens. Again, it feels more like an internal decision. Am I gonna take this anymore? Do I need, and it might not be someone else doing something to you. It could be you doing it to yourself. Do I wanna stay in this old mindset? Do I want this hanging over my head anymore? I know for me, just this past week, I decided to really get healthy and jump onto this sort of, sort of a detoxing. It's not a detox. I don't really believe in those, but it's just like clean eating kind of thing because I went, I'm so sick of being tired. You know, I'm sick of not having <laughs> fun with what I do because everything feels like I'm pushing my body to do it. All these kinds of things. And I wanted to sort of reset my, my system. So I made a decision I'm like, you know, that was a kind of a full kind of thing for me. Like it was something hanging over my head and about to, you know, break open. And I finally just, just took charge and went, okay, I'm gonna do this. So on the new moon, moon, <laughs> I started this commitment to myself to eat well and to exercise in the way that was right for me. So it could be something as simple as that. You just decide, well, I'm sick of this thing hanging over my head. I'm just gonna take care of it now, okay. We are not going to have a whole lot of resolutions going on this week. Purgatory. You're not there, but you're not there. <laughs> you're not in the past, but you're not in the future. Where does that leave you? In the present, okay. But how are you probably going to interpret it, we with our human brains? Purgatory, ugh, that awful place of in between. Just make it happen already, or let me go back to the way things used to be. I do the same thing, of course I do, right? But look at the artwork on this card there is actually beauty in purgatory there's regeneration rejuvenation cleansing and what is that right there in the center there's light so you don't need to be scared if things are not tied up the way that we like them to be embrace it it's good okay it's a nice little time of rest <laughs> in between the tumultuous moments that you're like, okay, did that really have to happen? Really? You know, but just again, go with the flow this week, tap into your wisdom and go with the transformation. So like I said, this is violets, right? Well, I think of violet. <laughs> so violet flame meditation might be good for you. Just, you know, imagining yourself being cleansed by that flame and of course your wisdom tap into your wisdom. If, again, if you're looking at everything like on in a mundane level, on a mundane level, and you're not tapping into that higher wisdom, you are not going to like this coming week. It's, I can feel it. It's like aggravating. It's just like, I, I don't want to deal with this anymore. <laughs> like, I'm just not going to do it. Right. But again, if you see the bigger picture and you understand that it's all in divine order, and you just let yourself be in that, uh, for some people, uncomfortable place of, you know, being in the middle, uh, you can make the decision to do so. You can make the decision this week to be happy no matter what is going on. Okay. Makes sense. Let's see if there's anything else coming through with it. <laughs> I'm getting a tingle like the, I don't, I don't, okay. So one of the signs that an angel 
is with you or they're kind of giving you a message, your, your scalp, I know this sounds weird, but your scalp might tingle and tighten up. And I just got that like really forcefully, like right, right here in the back of my head. <laughs> so, and actually the message that's coming through is like this week you might at times feel like you're in a vice. You know, where you're kind of, it's, it's not fun, right? And yet you have the wisdom to know that you have to. I have to just get through this. It was bound to happen. Very pregnant moon there, right? Okay, so let's get on to the color card and let's see what other bit of advice they might have for us. And really focus on May 25th, the week of May 25th. They're really, they, they have a lot of messages coming through. Uh, this doesn't seem to tie into this, but I'm just going to pass it along to you. People are taking their knowledge, treating it as wisdom, and, and trying to use it against people. I don't know. And the example they're giving me is, you know, stop arguing over what angel looks after what chakra. <laughs> Everyone had, okay, and they're telling me that they actually are all one. They're all very connected. Like, we're, we're all one. We're all connected. And we're the ones, as human beings, and I say this all the time in personal readings, we're the ones, as human beings, we always silo them because that's how we can perceive them. That's how we can handle that energy and that information that comes through in bits and pieces. And I could go further into it, but they don't actually need names. Those names are for us because we need to label everything, right? They recognize each other through energy and through love. And people are gonna argue with me on that, and that's okay, that's okay. And you know, everybody always feel free to leave your comments down below for good or for bad, because even when somebody leaves a nasty comment or they, an argumentative one, and I have those people who do that, they wanna argue everything, that's fine, because at least you're thinking. Because you had to think in order to come up with whatever you came up with, right? Okay, so I don't know. That was just a thing that came through, passing along to you, and there it is. Okay. Color card. Purple. Develop mental clarity. 39. We've gotten this before. Just I don't know if it was last week, but we got it two weeks in a row. You're still looking for that light within, and look at the color. This is crown chakra kind of energy. This is also the violet flame again, cleansing and, and transmutation. Okay. So transmute the lower energy into the higher energy. Get yourself out of the spinning mindset, the worry, get yourself out of that. Okay. And tap into the higher wisdom, find the light within. All right. Hang in there. <laughs> Have a good week. And if nothing else, I love you. All right. Take care.